Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Janfrido. Um, so for my stackathon, I decided to think, um, what was the biggest issue I had when I was uh, teaching? Um, and it was obviously clearly um, crappy administration. No, um, the real issue was that students didn't study enough. So I figured students who had success, I found oftentimes with um, quick things like fast math or um, vocab, they would use flashcards. So I thought, how can I take this idea of flashcards and kind of gamify it to a degree? So I came up with this idea of cards, which is, as you see, a competitive multiplayer flashcard game for teachers and students. So let's do a quick demo. So um, on the back end, I'm using sockets, and we have two games here running on my local host. So let's just go into JavaScript library, something we all know and love. All right, so we're in the game here. Now, what we see here is, so front-end framework that uses components and states. We all know, of course, this is React. Thank you. So if I start typing React, we see real time on the other screen that you see the other person's typing. Hit enter, I get a point, and the opponent on the other side, get, uh, you see the opponent gets a point. Back-end framework for instantiating models, SQLize, libraries for routing, Express, now, if you type something incorrect, so if I say like, wait, I don't know what that is. Is it jQuery? No, it's not jQuery. Try better. What is this? Does anyone know what this is? Angular. Angular. Absolutely. Uh, and of course, what's the best language? JavaScript. JavaScript. Also English. As a former English teacher, completely agree with that. So we see at the end, it says this person won three to two. Now, this would be kind of not that great of an app if teachers couldn't add their own stacks of cards. So. If we return to topics and we click on manage question groups, we see this field here. So say I wanted to do um, something on, let's say, Simpsons characters. And categories TV, create question group, group added. We see here, Simpsons character shows up. Now you can choose previous ones. So say if I wanted to edit my Othello one, select question group, I see all the previous ones here. So antagonist, Othello, takes place in Cyprus, the fellow's wife is Desdemona. If we wanted to add something here like who's Othello's lieutenant, I'm going to butcher the spelling of this. It is, for those who know Othello, it's Cassio. So, create the question, shows up right there. Now, if we wanted to go to the one we just created, show Simpsons characters, select the question group. The father, who's the dad in the Simpsons? It's Homer, absolutely. The mother, Marge. Marge. <laughs> Fix your Simpsons knowledge if you're going to say Bart there. So if we go back to return to topics, we see that Simpsons character showed up. We can start a game. Same thing right here. And we get points. So um, this is kind of the functionality I have at the moment. Um, the socks on the back end, I spent much of this time making sure that they were stable, and they are at the moment. Um, but eventually what I want to do is uh, have teachers able to upload classes. So you can have your classes compete against each other and track win-loss records. So eventually you have that competitive fuel driving students to study. So that's the next step with this project, building in users, building in classes. Um, but we'll see where it goes and hope to continue to work on it. Um, thank you for your time.